Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Fed Adventures. Welcome back to another video on Speed Gals Productions Game Boxing Channel with me, Jake Spins, who also does Spade Gals Original with Girl of Cyclones, Quincor, Floral I am Vlogs. Again, I apologize for the nasally allergies that I am having. Um, currently, we had that problem in the whole Shadow the Hedgehog discussion for Smash Brothers. It's, it's only been a, um, a few hours since I posted it, and we've already had a few comments, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. I love when you guys get involved and, you know, talk about the stuff in the Smash discussions that we're doing. So, maybe I'll do more, because it, it's nice community building, if you will. Anyway, though... Today is no discussion, but it is an unboxing, and it does have to do a little bit with, not Shadow specifically, but it's, it's close. It's, it's, it's kind of close. Um, but we have with us, and I cannot believe that I bought another one of these, a loot crate. Um, this is, oh god, okay. Um, this is from Loot Gaming. It came kind of battered and destroyed. This was the third gaming one that I specifically actually bought. If you don't know, it gives you an auto subscription. So once this came in the mail today, I went and I, I canceled it. So Loot Gaming, it's a great company. They have a lot of good things, but that auto subscription thing, that's stupid. And then you have to cancel your subscription four times to get it to work because you have to click on the button four different times and answer a question and it's it's just ridiculous considering we only wanted one box this time um but yeah this is the third gaming one that we that i wanted and we did some anime ones there's a sonic figure one a gaming throwback one that i haven't uploaded i don't know if i will because it's so long ago but we got to keep that all the loot gaming figures on here. But also, I don't know if this one technically counts because there was a limited edition one on the Sega shop. Um, but here's here's the thing. So we're gonna take out the one thing that I actually want, and then the rest of it we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna burn it. Yeah, you heard me. We're gonna go outside, and we're gonna just shove it in the campfire, and you're gonna see all the flames. All, all the ashes scatter and the tree is the whistle sounds from the the destruction of the merchandise no I'm kidding we're actually gonna take all of the stuff out and see what we like I know that there's one other thing that I know specifically what it is uh one thing I well I know what one of the things in here is as well it's just that i'm not interested in it so i should say i know i'm at least interested in two of the things and also i'm gonna try to open this very carefully because there's supposed to be like some kind of a design on this i just don't know what it's gonna be and i want to be very careful and i just don't know how i'm gonna open this because they bent it i don't know what they did like i don't know did they throw this on the porch did they have their dog deliver it by mouth it's not wet, but it, it sure is crumpled up. Oh, right. I'm I'm silly. I'm opening this one, aren't I? Yes, I am, because actually it's supposed to open up from the front, and it has a god dang sticker on it. It's good, but also bad, because I hate when there's just a god dang sticker on it. But we do actually have the coin from the Mega Man 11 um, unboxing. If you didn't see it, we did Mega Man 11 stream through on the channel where we actually, we did two streams of that and that went very, very fun. Also some of the, the tape covering the important stuff was on top of this tape. So I had to be very careful, but we're still, we're still okay. You don't need to know the stuff under there. So let's go okay wow wow they went so simple they went so simple look at how simple they went for the box 
Well, at least I don't care that the box was damaged. But, um, I don't know if you guys saw what was in here, but we'll go... Oh, yeah, I know everything that's in here, actually. I just only have interest in, like, two things. So, I guess let's look at the shirt. And if this is a shirt... Oh, oh okay. Okay, I'm a little excited about this because I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I like shirts. I have a lot of shirts because my mom would go out, she'd buy me a bunch of shirts because I'm interested in a lot of stuff. So I've kind of, you know, and I'm also a collector. So I've, I've kind of grown into being very interested in shirts. So the fact that we, we have the shirt being something I'm interested in this time, I'm, this isn't just some like blank blue t-shirt. I'm going to be really upset. Where? Oh, it's on the back. Okay. SFMN? What? I am so upset. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... That's like the logo and probably whoever made it. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is it some kind of like radio station? Because if this is supposed to be a compass in a spider, you did it wrong. You know? There's no fourth. There's no there's no meast. You know? North isn't down here. And it's not it's not ceased. Like what what I'm confused. And there's nothing on the front. I was so happy. I was like, but it's it's a Spider-Man thing, and on the front, it's gonna be like Spider-Man swinging or something. It's gonna have Spider-Man on it, right? No. You don't even have anything on the front, mate. Like, what's up with that? You have all these cool shirts, and I'm like, oh, that's a cool shirt, but I don't know what it's from. And then I know what it's from, and it's like, what? <sighs> that's that's disappointing. Um, I didn't know what the shirt was gonna be, but when I saw it was Spider-Man, I got I got happy, <laughs> and apparently I shouldn't have. But um, the last thing that we will open is the thing I'm most excited for. Which is always, always fun. Always fun to do. Um, I just saw the, the pin of the month. Um, so this next one is a Metal Gear Solid thing. Now, I've never played Metal Gear Solid. I only know about Solid Snake or, you know, just Snake in general just because of Super Smash Brothers. So I don't know what this is going to be. It feels hefty. Like, it feels really hefty. Is it going to be a mug? Maybe. It might be a mug. Um, I'm assuming Foxhound is what, what made this. It's a little opened as well. But I'm going to I'm gonna guess a mug. I don't know why I'm feeling a mug. No. I was close though. It's not a mug. It is a glass. And it says, um, it does say Foxhound on it. Um, and special, Foxhound Special Forge Group. Um, I mean, again, it's, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's basically, it's this logo. I mean, I don't know what the logo is from. Well, I know it's probably from the game, but like you have that logo, but then the rest of it, it's, it's just, it's just a regular glass. Are they dropping the ball on this? Really? Like, I mean, at, le at least the thing that I'm excited for, I know what it is. I didn't just, like, jump into this expecting, like, great things. Like, I was like, okay, I'm going to be interested in one thing in this box. And this, I was like, oh, maybe it'll be something cool that I understand. Um, If I understood it, maybe it would be cool. But I, I don't. I don't. But it's probably, it's probably from the game. If you guys know, let me know. I don't know if I'll keep that. The Spider-Man shirt, again, it's not exciting. So, two things. That's a little surprising. Like, the other stuff, even even when I didn't know what it was, sometimes it was like, oh, okay, well, that's kind of cool. Like, it wasn't it wasn't disappointing. Um, but we have here Doom, which I've heard of Doom, but I don't know anything about Doom. So, I don't know. It feels... It, okay, it's flat. Mm, what do I know about Doom? Um, I mean, I know it's a gun game. Which, okay, here's the weird thing. 
okay? The things that are combined, it's like, the one thing it makes sense because it's an anniversary thing. But then Spider-Man, like, it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That fits in with the anniversary thing, kind of. It can be slightly mature if you are looking in the right place. Then you go to Metal Gear Solid and it's like, okay, that's interesting. And then, and then Doom, you know, it's two very mature things. One comic book teen maybe could be considered mature. And then one thing that's like not, what is this? It's like foam. Okay. Well, it's more than foam spins. It's just, it's foam guarding something. Is this like a door knocker? No, it looks like a magnet. Oh, it's a monster from Doom, I think. There's going to be so many people that are like, Oh my god, no, it's it's the crest of Magni Volcano. How do you not know? And I'm going to be like, I, I don't know. I never played Doom. I've never watched anybody play Doom. I just know what the thing. Um, But it, it looks like some kind of monster. I'm, I'm assuming that's a magnet? Because if you look on the back, you have magnetic properties and looks like... But, I mean, it's cool. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Like, I could... I mean, I don't see this symbol being on a fridge, though. Like, it just seems very weird to put something like this on a fridge. I mean, I guess if you put it in the front of a door, though, then it could be... It, it would be like a door knocker. But I feel like maybe a metal door this would work on pretty well. if At least if that's what it is. I don't actually know if that's what it is. But, I mean, it, it's cool. It's cool. See, here's, here's the thing, though. This was actually designed, though. Like, there was actually merit to it. There's actually something... It's like, okay. I, I have no context, but... I mean, it's something. And the other ones, I can't really say that for. You know? They were just like, oh, let's slap a logo on there. <laughs> Which, some things do that maybe if i understood the, the symbols and stuff um but let's let's look really quickly and here's here's the other thing too like is the box based on what the shirt is because the the thing of the month i think is spider-man but oh my gosh oh my god am i actually going to enjoy the poster more than i enjoy like half over half of the stuff in this because this is supposed to be because of spider-man um, PlayStation. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, that's cool. You've got that, like, punk rock Spider-Man. You know, maybe the symbols... Maybe the symbols have something actually to do with Spider-Man PlayStation 4. And just because I've never played it, I wouldn't know. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that. Really, it's Doom's 25th anniversary, too. Wow, that's interesting. Well, that explains why that's in there. Oh, it's Loot Gaming Metal. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Except then Spider-Man's there. Um, and I mean, he's not very metal, but... Maybe we can get some context here. Okay, so... I mean, that's probably why he's in the punk outfit, though. Um, Lucky Winner gets two tickets to... Yada, yada, yada... Um, ten minutes. Sign copy of Marvel's PlayStation for Spider-Man. That is insane of a prize. <laughs> that is quite the prize for the epic drop sweepstakes. Okay, so what does, um, oh! Okay, it's, okay, so what it says is the Doom Calco Demon? Calco Demon. A uh, bottle opener. So that's a bottle opener. I mean, I'm not going to use a bottle opener because I don't drink pop. But, um, it's cool. It's cool. And I, I mean, it makes sense that I thought it was a magnet, though, because usually bottle openers go on a fridge. So now it makes sense. Yeah, this I can understand it being a bottle opener because I was like, a magnet? Not so much. Um, yeah. So it's, so it's a bottle opener. Of an enemy. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, and Metal Gear Solid. It hit the original PlayStation 20 years ago. 
as of September. Okay, so this is like all anniversary stuff. Are you are you in the same boat, Spidey? Are you also having an anniversary, mate? Because like if you all are having an anniversary, that's cool. That would be wicked. Um, let's see here. Okay, in Marvel's Spider-Man, Don the Punk. Okay, Don the Spider Punk suit to rock out. Okay, blasting away enemies with waves of righteous sound. Okay, so that's supposed to be like a band thing. That makes sense. I mean, I kind of wish there was something on the front though, because I I prefer the front facing shirts. But I mean, okay, in that in that regard, now that I know what it is, I'd say it's probably not as disappointing as I thought it was. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to I'm gonna look at the other thing in here after we actually look at it. Now, I should actually put the bottle opener over here. And the phone is ringing. Okay, it was one of those stupid calls where they called and there was no message at all. It was just like a fart. So I think we're okay. Not, it, it wasn't actually a fart, but it was just like a, a phone drop noise and nothing else. So apparently we're good. Now, I think, what we're going to do is we're going to show off the pin first. Because every single loot gaming and like loot crate, it comes with a pin. And I love this so much because I love, I, I'm a collector, as I said, and I just love things like pins, you know, and I just got a Mighty and Ray pin uh, that I'm not going to open up because collector's item. But I just got those, too. And now I can put next to them this Sonic the Hedgehog Metal Sonic Collectible Pin. Oh my gosh, this pin in and of itself is so worth it. It's so cool. Like, I saw this. That was my reaction of, <gasps> you know, the, uh, it's so cool. I love it. I love it. They did good. They did good with that pin. That's a great pin. And again, of course, the box is all smashed up. Nothing inside seemed to be uh, damaged. Except for, like, the Metal Gear box is open. But now we have with us... We have... The 25th Anniversary Figurine of Metal Sonic. I told myself I was not going to order any more loot crates, and then this came. This released. Now, I would have said the same thing for Amy Rose. If uh, if there was a figure for a classic Amy that came out, I would have said, I'm buying this. And if you didn't know, on the Sega Shop, this is, um apparently this is the collector's edition. But on the Sega Shop, they had a limited time run of a um, no-colored metal sonic to where it was a silver version it was it was silver coloring of metal sonic now we've opened up the shadow the hedgehog figure and we've opened up a sonic figure shadow the hedgehog looked oh my god amazing and the sonic one eh, it was okay i wasn't a fan of the design as much and it felt kind of a little more like a higher class version of a McDonald's toy, to be honest. Um, but like maybe like a McDonald's toy as a figurine, which I mean is an extreme insult and it's not really meant to be. And I have now dropped the coin that I was using to open the tape. Sorry, you, you guys saw an in-depth clip. Well, you wouldn't have seen it, but if I didn't edit then you guys would have seen an in-depth close-up of my my shoulder. Also, almost dropped the coin in the box. <laughs> Coins are actually very useful for opening up boxes and stuff. It's it's surprising. You really wouldn't think they would be. But here we go. Here we go. Here's here's the reveal. Here it's coming. It's coming. I see it. I see it. It's so shiny. He's so shiny. You are a shiny little guy. 
Oh my god, I always forget how tiny these guys are going to be, but I'm also very happy about that because I don't have any room to put these. Like, seriously, I need to just dedicate some kind of a shelf for the Loot Crate um, Sonic figures. But here is this right here. I believe they fought on... They originally fought on Stardust Speedway, I want to say. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me or spins and editing will will put a correction on there. But this, you can specifically see by the figure, it is classic metal sonic and this guy this guy looks so good like holy crud i i don't know he's he's definitely rivaling that that shadow figure and i really didn't think anything from um from this entire type of thing would do that now i don't have any oh okay i i was putting it in wrong i was like eh, maybe it's like that but no it's like this and he has his arm reaching out. Like, yes. Oh my god. This guy is perfect because... Okay. Hang on a second. I'm sorry, Future Spins. You're going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> um, but anyway, you have this purple pipe right here. And you have all this all this kind of stuff. And all this James Hale. But his, his pose is really awesome. It does remind me of some artwork of something with Metal Sonic and Eggman. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> but it's really cool because he's got that whole like chase scene thing he's holding his arm out he's got his other arm like this and it's just it's so god dang good he's got the little, the little needle on his oh my god that's sharp everybody be careful metal metal sonic he's not just sharp looking he is sharp they have every single detail on him as they should they have the the whole um the whole hand plates they have the um, the rods and stuff. And you know, when you really think about it, it is really impressive to think about that this was an early design for a Sonic character. And you might not feel like it that much, but the amount of design that is inside of Metal Sonic that you actually need, because granted, a, a, a sprite is going to be less, But, like, you have a lot of stuff that's incorporated in Metal Sonic. And the amount of personality and the fact that you have him in IDW comics, I, I just love it. I love the fact that this is Metal Sonic's 25th anniversary. I feel a little bad for Amy, though. Because Amy, she kind of got overshadowed because it is her anniversary, too. I feel like, you know, well, in the Sega Shop, she did get stuff, at least. And Tails did as well. But it does make me wonder for other anniversaries because Knuckles' 25th anniversary is only a little bit away. It's obviously not in the same year, but when you really come to think about it, he came in Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Well, Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles. He came in those, so his 25th, that's pretty close. Pretty, pretty darn close. So I'm wondering if they'll do anything for any other characters 25th? Maybe. But they started off with Shadow the Hedgehog. So I don't know. But um, that's going to end it for this uh, this Loot Crate unboxing. Now if you're wondering, Spins, will you do more Loot Crate unboxings? <laughs> Only if there's something Sonic related in it. Or Mario. If um, if I'm interested. like the, That whole like Mario Kart... It was, it was like some kind of Mario Kart sunroof cover or something. Like, get out of here with that. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't need that. So if it's, if it's like a figure and I'm interested in it, like a Sonic figure or a Mario figure, which Sonic figure probably likely because that, the fact that this is their third figure means that they have a license for Sonic and Sonic figures. So it's very possible that they're going to do more of that. Uh, anyway, though, guys, I do have a lot of editing out for this, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And, I mean, I'm really happy about how Metal Sonic and all that came about. And the pin. The pin. I'm so happy about the pin. I probably won't wear the Spider-Man shirt as much, but now knowing the background of it is pretty nice. 
Um, I guess I should also really quick before we end this off. I do real. I did realize that I never read the whole entire description for Metal Sonic. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, first off, uh, for the pin, it's Metal Sonic is not the same character as Mecha Sonic, another robot made by Dr. Eggman. That is very true. Um, interesting that they put that in here, but yeah, that does make sense. Okay, this pin was created for the sole purpose of destroying a Sonic pin we'd already designed. Frankly, this one will... <laughs> This one will make your pin collection superior in every way. Okay, and for the figurine of Metal Sonic, you thought Shadow was the most metal version of Sonic. You cannot... You cannot tell me. Okay. You cannot tell me. Somebody who has been a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog for his whole life who started in Sonic Adventure. You you cannot tell me that you mentioned the fact that Metal Sonic and Mech Sonic are two separate characters, which is true. And then said you thought Shadow was the most metal version of Sonic? Shadow is not a version of Sonic. That's, that's one reason I did that whole entire Smash video discussing Shadow in Smash Brothers. He's not a version of Sonic. <laughs> he was created 50 years ago. And I know at a standpoint, technically, the design is like Sonic because Shadow is a hedgehog. And he was compared to Sonic. Yes, that is true. But he is not a version of Sonic. Sonic came 50 years... Like... Maybe not 50 years. But Shadow came 50 years before... Like, he was awake... He was asleep for 50 years, people. He is not a version... Of Sonic. He is a hedgehog... That has similar powers to Sonic... But also has chaos abilities. Not a version... No, because that insinuates that he was created through the basis of Sonic, and that is not true. Sonic is not 15, he is 16. God dang it. He's not 50, he's 16. I'm sorry, I that got really that really bothered me. Um okay. Wrong. Um it, just continuing on that thing. This blue bad nick technically correct um it was created by dr eggman to destroy sonic way back in sonic cd celebrating its 25th anniversary this year challenging the titular hedgehog probably read that wrong a to a rather deadly race now he's speeding to your display shelf i mean that, yeah, that was nice um interesting that they didn't mention the fact that Maybe they didn't have enough space. No, they did, because Solid Snakes is a, lot, a little bit longer. Um, there's, there's a few things that are a little little longer. They could have added a little more. Um, I mean, the figure picture is pretty big, so maybe that's why. But they could have they could have added the fact that it was he was created through Sonic's data, through a CD. Um, and you might be like, oh my god, you were supposed to end the episode. Why are you going on about all this stuff? And, you know, it, it, I sound like I'm sassing you guys. I'm, I'm not. It's just, it's just how I, how I, how I roll. Um, but it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I have to mention it. Because it's like, you, you could have, you could have said it. Um, anyway, though, guys, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, shows out that have been known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, and iguana. I look forward to all of your comments saying about, um, how, how I just kind of ranted about, <laughs> about Shadow not being a version of Sonic. Or if people might agree with me. I don't actually know. I mean, I, I really not looking forward to that inevitability. 
but hey i mean you guys can voice your opinions and stuff um nobody nobody is stopping you anyway though <laughs> seriously i hope you enjoyed I'm gonna stop digging this hole deeper and i'll see you guys later keep your toes safe